Design and shape the world around you with the flexible new features in AutoCAD 2011. In this spotlight, we'll show you how AutoCAD 2011 includes powerful new tools for 3D design visualization. In previous versions of AutoCAD, 3D design visualization could be time-consuming and was less efficient. Let's put the spotlight on 3D design visualization. AutoCAD 2011 has many new and enhanced tools for surface modeling, including the ability to create procedural surfaces, which are associated with their defining geometry. You can use the new Network Surface tool to create a surface between a network of curves, even if the curves are not coincident. The Loft tool has been improved, allowing you to select not only profile curves, but also sub-objects of existing 3D geometry. Using the edge of an existing surface with surface associativity enabled, you can control the continuity between the surfaces. Even if you create the loft surface without specifying continuity, you can change it using the continuity grip that displays when you select the surface. A similar loft grip allows you to change the type of loft, and depending on the option you specify, additional grips provide direct manipulation of properties such as the draft angle. These controls are also available in the Properties palette. In addition to establishing associativity between surfaces, the Surface Associativity Control allows you to establish an association between the new surface and its defining geometry. For example, if you create a loft surface using only splines as opposed to surface edges, the loft surface does not provide continuity controls because there's no surface for it to be continuous with. However, it is still associated with the defining splines. If you edit the splines, the surface automatically updates to reflect the changes. To complete the surfaces for this shaver, we can use the new Patch Surface tool. It creates a cap using edges that form a closed loop. Patch surfaces support surface associativity, enabling you to specify the continuity between surfaces. You can further adjust the shape of the patch surface using the bulge magnitude. AutoCAD 2011 has a variety of new analysis tools to help you analyze the continuity, curvature, and draft of 3D solids and surfaces. The zebra analysis projects stripes onto a 3D model to analyze surface continuity. The stripes display continuous across tangent surfaces, but are discontinuous where there is not tangency. You can use the Analysis Draft tool to inspect the angle variation between face normals in the current UCS plane. This helps you determine if there is adequate space between the part and its mold. Curvature analysis projects a color gradient onto a surface to evaluate different aspects of its curvature. You can control the color mapping in the Analysis Options dialog box. Select from different display styles and specify the curvature range. Similar controls, relevant for draft angle and zebra, enable you to specify the display of those analyses. New features in AutoCAD 2011 provide powerful and intuitive tools for viewing, selecting, and editing materials. AutoCAD's advanced and realistic materials have been replaced with a more robust material format. The new material format provides more flexibility and can produce improved renderings. You can import existing materials from your tool palettes and migrate old-style materials from your drawings into the new format. You can also use the New Materials browser to find and apply materials that are already in the drawing or select from more than a thousand predefined materials in the Autodesk Materials Library. Easily find a specific color or type of material by searching on keywords. A simple drag and drop adds the material to the object. If you're not yet sure what material you are looking for, browse through the materials logically grouped by categories. Use the new Materials Editor to modify the properties of the material to meet your needs and to create new materials. Specify material and image properties such as reflectivity, transparency, position, and scale. 
You can reuse your custom materials in other drawings by creating your own material libraries. Define categories to help organize or manage your materials, and even share your material libraries with others, or use libraries that others have shared with you. You can jumpstart projects by capturing and using accurate point cloud data from laser scanning devices. AutoCAD now enables you to attach point cloud files to your AutoCAD drawings using ISD or PCG format. The process is similar to attaching other reference files. Locking functionality controls whether an attached point cloud can be manipulated, moved, or rotated. If you don't yet have a point cloud file, you can use the index tool to index scanned data files from LAS, XYB, FLS, and FWS file formats and then save them as point cloud files. You can attach a 2 billion point file adjusting the density of the point cloud as needed. AutoCAD will display up to 1.5 million points at any one time and as you change the view AutoCAD determines which points to display. You can edit point cloud properties with the familiar properties palette including the ability to specify color. Being able to attach point cloud data, you can use an accurate representation of the existing part or environment to create and edit 3D geometry without having to start from scratch. These exciting new features in AutoCAD 2011 make your design process more intuitive and efficient. We have included features to help you with every step of the design process. It's time to take design further. It's time to see the difference with AutoCAD.